Williams. Attention, everyone. Here's our director. Man's best friend. Well, it's real good seeing y'all here. As you know, we are going to put on the Christmas play. Due to the shortage of time, we'll get right down to work. One of the first things to ensure a good performance is strict attention to the director. I'll keep my directions simple. If I point to the right, it means focus attention stage right. If I make a slashing motion across my throat, it means cut the scene short. If I make a revolving motion with my hand, it means pick up the tempo. If I spread my hands apart, it means slow down. It's the spirit of the actors that counts. The interest that they show in their director. Am I right? I said, am I right? Hello, Chatham High School, and welcome to a very festive episode of The Pulse. I'm Will Lynn. And I'm Dylan Scarpelli. Will, how long have we waited for, spring, for winter break? Approximately 77-ish days. I think waiting that long gets me a, on a, a spot on the nice list. Hmm, I'm not so sure about that. I would expect a cold if I were you, but that does get me to the holiday spirit. Me too. I'm ready to sit back and relax to our first segment, Merry Movie Madness. Afternoon, CHS. It's that time of year again, and Christmas is just around the corner. And what better way to get in the Christmas spirit than watching Christmas movies with the fam? We took the 16 best Christmas movies and put them into a bracket style competition where we brought two students and one very special guest to decide the winner of the ultimate Christmas movie. This is Merry Movie Madness. Good afternoon, CHS. I'm here with Eric and Ryan. Now, guys, I have a 16 team movie bracket for you guys. Christmas themed. For the first matchup, we have Elf and Claws. Which one are we picking here? Personally, I think Elf. I think Elf is very valuable as the one seed. Mm -hmm. I'm going Elf 10 out of 10 times. Elf, Elf, okay. Now, next, four and five, we have Christmas Chronicles and the Polar Express. Polar Express, all timer. Right. Same with me, I watch that every, every Christmas. Okay. Tradition. Okay, so now it's Elf and Polar Express. Which one are we taking out of those? Take it out. See, ah, uh, this one's tough. I think I'm gonna go the Polar Express. Okay. For my family, it's also the Polar Express. We always watch that. Elf is like, it's only in the mood every other Christmas. Wow, huge upset right there. Now next, we know. <laughs> and next is Charlie Brown and Home Alone 2. I think this doesn't have to say anything. I think it's Home Alone, straight. I don't know why it's a six seed. I think that goes straight through. And Home Alone. Home Alone. Next, you know, in the fall oh, bracket. Oh, that was Home Alone 2? Yes, Home Alone I, 2. Um, now, Home Alone 2 or? Home Alone, still. All right, now, let's get to move on with the western side of the bracket. We've got Home Alone and A Christmas Story. Home Alone, once again. I think not much to say about Home Alone, just the best one. Now, we've got The Grinch. Great movie. Yeah. Obviously, everybody's seen Animated it. Animated or regular? Animated. Animated? Animated? Yes, yes. And A Nightmare Before Christmas. I think it's still got to be The Grinch, even if it's an animated one. Okay, okay. Uh, I'm going to disagree with Eric, but still go The Grinch. The unanimated Grinch is way worse than the animated one because it's like low key creepy. Wow, wow. Okay, so definitely unanimous right there. Next. And to move on, we have The Grinch in the Final Four, Home Alone in the Final Four, The Polar Express in the Final Four, and Home Alone 2. Now, who are you taking to go to the finals? Uh, I think this is more of a conference one. I think this is conference. We didn't get Home Alone. I'm going Polar Express in the Eastern uh, bracket. Thank you guys. Now tune in to see who, who will pick the winner of the greatest Christmas movie of all time. Thank you. 
All right, and now I'm here with Mr. Henderson to decide the final winner of the best Christmas movie. Now, Mr. Henderson, it's between The Polar Express and Home Alone. Which one are you choosing? I gotta tell you, I think Polar Express has no business being in this final matchup. I think it's there. That movie is completely overmatched by Home Alone. It's a classic film. Uh, I absolutely love that movie. The upset of Polar Express over Elf? How does that happen? I mean, how do we even get here? So for me, this is really a no-brainer. Uh, Home Alone, absolutely. And that makes it the winner of the entire bracket. Best Christmas movie of all time? Yes. I can get down with that. All right. Thank you, Mr. Anderson. Merry Christmas. Thank you guys for watching. And thank you to our very special guests. Hope you guys have a great Christmas and a very happy new year. Wow. That was a really intense, Scarp. I agree. Watching that reminded me of the time I was making hot chocolate, burned my tongue, and then tripped and spilled it. He's not allowed to make hot chocolate anymore. Speaking of holiday drinks, let's test the palate of the hockey and basketball teams in holiday cheers. What's up, CHS? Happy holidays. Welcome to Hockey vs. Hoops Holiday Cheers. I'm Nate May, Chatham Hockey. I'm the goalie. Today we're testing these Dunkin' drinks, and I'm gonna be guessing them. I know this. It's like a peppermint frappuccino. I'm going with that. Ugh, coffee. I'm going peppermint coffee, two in a row peppermint. Sprite cranberry. It's hot, these are throwing me off. That's hot chocolate. All the way. That's just hot chocolate. All right, my name is Matthew Nasinovich. I play uh, ice hockey for Chatham High School. That's coffee. Coffee. Oh, that's the Sprite Cranberry. Oh, wait, I forgot. Wait, chocolate milk. <laughs> Is it not chocolate milk? Hi, I'm Lucas Kleinley, and I play hockey. It kind of tastes like, like maybe peppermint coffee. Is that Sprite Cranberry? It is Sprite Cranberry. Let's go. My name is Michael Tedesco. I play basketball at Chatham. Thin Mint maybe? It's maybe like a Girl Scout collab there. Solid. I like it. I like it. Give this one a try. Oh, terrible. I don't drink coffee, but that is definitely, you know, some blend of it. I couldn't tell you what, because I couldn't tell you which type of coffee. Oh, it's like a Slurpee, but watered down, maybe. Something like that. Yeah. This is like... Think like holiday. Oh, Sprite Cranberry! Yes. Shop with the coffee. This is cold brew, Starbucks. Medium ice, maybe. Maybe a little maple in it. Maybe it's a little fresher, you could say. Definitely hits. Like, I can definitely feel a little energized right now, I'm not gonna lie. My name's Jack, and I play basketball. That's Sprite. Is that Sprite Cranberry? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, it's warm. Hot chocolate. I don't know. Coffee? My name's Millen. I play basketball. That's like some nasty coffee. It's like Sprite? I think holiday. Sprite, a uh, cranberry, Sprite yeah. cranberry. Okay. That's hot chocolate, that's easy. That's like frozen coffee. Oh, how did I get this stuff on? 
Guess it's the holiday spirit. Shout out to hockey team for beating the basketball team in hockey versus hoops holiday cheers. Wow, that made me thirsty. Same, but let's think about something else to quench our thirst. Indeed, I hope both the hockey and basketball teams get a strong start to their winter season. Speaking of teams, the bowling team has a competition on January 3rd. Crazy coincidence, they're in our next segment. Let's roll on over to the bowling team game show. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the first ever CHS Pulse bowling team quote off. I'm your host, Sam Iceberg Bergstrom, and today we're going to see which team is more knowledgeable in terms of quotes. I'm Brandon Kearney. I'm Toby Monks. And I'm Max Renovats. And we're the quote quiz lose. I'm Kit. I'm Sophia. I'm Carly, and we're team Ask. All right, guys, so how this is going to work, I'm going to read a quote. I'm going to also give you two people. you got to decide which person said it, all right? These are some holiday-themed questions. Yeah, let's get right into the first quote. All right, first quote is, Thank God I have no friends. Who said it? Charlie Brown or Kourtney Kardashian? 30 seconds to discuss. What? Charlie Brown. That is incorrect. It's Kourtney Kardashian. Charlie <laughs> Brown doesn't speak. So great, and I'm so small that she can't spare one little moment. The next one. Who said this? I'm in love. I'm in love, and I don't care who knows it. Ariana Grande or Buddy the Elf? That is correct. There's a point for Team Ask. All right, Team Ask has taken the lead. Question number three. I don't expect success. I prepare for it. Who said it? Kevin McAllister from Home Alone or Ryan Reynolds? Ryan Reynolds. That is correct. There's a point for Team Quote. Kevin McAllister. We are all evened up, folks. The paparazzi have been trying to nail me for years. Who said it? Santa from the movie Elf? Or Lady Gaga. Santa from Movie Elf. That is correct. Yes. 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 A Christmas without light is not Christmas. The Pope or Hermie from the Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer movie. <laughs> Pope. What? Uh, who got it? Well, it was us. That was so us. it was us. That was us. Who saw that? I, I think it was Team Ask. Oh, yeah. Do you that. guys think it was Team Ask? Yeah. No, it was uh, it was us. My sound was rock, rock, paper, scissors. Yeah, it was rock, paper. That was too close to call. Rock, paper, scissors. Good job, Tony. What? Quizzers, what's your answer? Po. That is correct. <laughs> Everyone knows a turkey and some mistletoe help to make the season bright. Dwayne the Rock Johnson or Michael Bublé? Michael Bublé? It was Michael Bublé. Who is Michael Bublé? He's a singer. Alright, this is the last question, alright? We're gonna make it worth your while. Uh, team Quote Quizzlers, if you get this right, you win the game. Okay? We're gonna make it worth two points. Alright, so, so make sure, make sure you discuss thoroughly with your team, alright? Here's the final quote. It's America. We commercialize everything. Look, look, look at what we did to Christmas. It's a whole season of materialism. Will Smith or Chris Rock? Chris Rock. That is correct. Yeah! Whoa, yeah! Quizzers yeah! is your winner. You guys suck. You got two of them wrong. Yeah. Congratulations. He is so <laughs> high. Thank you guys so much for tuning in to the first annual CHS Pulse Bowling Team Quote Off. Congratulations to the Quote Quizzlers for winning. Any final messages, guys? Thanks for Thanks watching! For watching. <laughs> we made it to our last segment, and a few steps closer to winter break. It's been a long time coming, but now we get to end our episode on a fan favorite. Question of the Week. Holiday Edition. Hey guys, today we're going to be asking CHS students holiday themed questions. How did you find out Santa wasn't real? Well, I, I, I you know, I kind of saw my mom take the presents downstairs and the big stockings and everything. So you just had a feeling? Yeah. Did, what, how old were you? I was like eight, seven. Eight? Eight is early, dang. How did you find out Santa wasn't real? Um, my stepdad told me when I was eight years old because he thought I didn't know. That's awkward. Thank you. How did you find out Santa wasn't real? 
Um, I kind of just guessed. I don't know. You just guessed? How old were you? Like six. Six? Yeah. That's early. How did you find out Santa wasn't real? Uh, my mom just told me. She didn't want to deal with it. How old were you? Like four. Four? Here, take a Hershey kiss. <laughs> Can I have a hat? No! <laughs> How did you find out Santa wasn't real? Uh, my mom told me, and then I lit my elf on fire. <laughs> Oh, thank you. thank you. Yeah, how did you find out Santa's not real? Um, I found out fifth grade. Um, one of the kids told me, and I went home, and Mom had to confirm it, unfortunately. Ooh, that's rough. When did you find out Santa wasn't real? When I was eight. Eight? How did you find out? Uh, my dad told me. Boring! How did you find out Santa wasn't real? Um, Andrew Smalls told me in the hallway. <laughs> thank you. Appreciate it. Thank you. McKenna, how did you find out Santa wasn't real? I don't know, I just like kind of knew. You just knew? How old were you? Like fifth grade? Fifth grade, fifth grade. How did you find out Santa wasn't real? Uh, my friend told me. How old were you? Like three. Three? Or four, I can't remember. Your friend told you when you were three? Yeah. Sus, cap, cap. How did you find out Santa wasn't real? My best friend told me. My friend told me. My friend told me. Uh, my friend told me, and I was very upset. I started crying when I got home. Crying? Wow. Yeah. It was How old were you? Fourth grade, probably. Fourth grade. How did you find out Santa wasn't real? I mean, it's kind of a known thing. A known thing? You just knew? Yeah, I just knew. How old were you when you think you found out? Fifth grade. Fifth grade. That's a common answer, fifth grade. How did you find out Santa wasn't real? So my brother actually told me that he punched Santa in the stomach and deflated him. Oh. <laughs> How did you find out Santa wasn't real? He isn't? <laughs> my life is a lie. <laughs> oh my god, I just crushed Paul's dreams. How did you find out Santa wasn't real? Oh, well my mom touched the elf on the shelf and I saw her. <laughs> How did you find out Santa wasn't real? Um, I actually found out that the Easter Bunny wasn't real first and I kind of just pieced them together. Um, I found out in CCD class, Mrs. Abbott told me. <laughs> Thank you. How did you find out Santa wasn't real? What? How did you find out Santa wasn't real? Santa's not real. Uh-oh. <laughs> okay, who am I here with? Senor Montoya. Senor Montoya, how did you find out Santa wasn't real? When I saw my father with the bicycle, a long time ago, so. Were you distraught? I was in shock, but I was very happy for the bicycle. Oh, you were happy? Yes, very happy. <laughs> Why were you happy for the bicycle? Because I won a bicycle. Oh, oh, oh. Yes. Here, you can take a Hershey kiss. <laughs> Gracias. De nada. Santa's not real? Oh, Scarp, when will you learn? Well, that just ruined my holiday break, but I hope this episode gets into the holiday spirit. We'll see you in 2024 for episode 7 of the CHS Pulse. Happy holidays.